Good, whatever it is, I'm Antalus. Welcome to Planetarium 2 Zen Odyssey. So this game, I looked at this game recently. It looks kind of interesting. Looks kind of like um, the game Universe Sandbox. It's a fun game. I like I like the Universe Sandbox, so I thought I'd give this one a try. I reached out to the developer and he was kind enough to send me a key. So here we are. I thought I'd follow this moon around. We are looking at Titan right now around Saturn. And let's see what else we can find too. Zoom out a little bit. And zoom in. Oh good, we do have several of the moons. And we're not gonna have all the moons just because there's so many of them. But it's good to see there are in fact several. And we'll jump over to Earth, Moon. It's, it's fun to see these. I've been playing around with this a little bit. So uh, if I recall right, I hit this button. And then I can choose a target, and I can just drop a black hole right next to Earth. Let's go ahead and shut off the labels. And shut off my target as well. So the Earth duplicated, it looks like. I don't think that was on purpose. I do love those effects, they look really cool. Kind of interesting too, and it's kind of interesting that it's not fully sucking in the planet like I would love to actually have just seen Earth be destroyed. You, or you're just sitting there. Can't have that. Not that one. This one. Go ahead and press every incorrect button I can apparently. Huh. Rank, expand can't do anything to this black hole. I can, however, remove it. And we can do that to other plants as well. Remember my controls. So, here's the sun. I found it, in case you guys lost it. I, I think it's kind of cool. Like, some of the effects they have, pretty awesome. I'd love to see these moving a little bit. I understand that that's really hard to program in. If, for those of you that don't know me, which is the vast majority of people. I played around a little bit with game development. I'm not very good at it. And so I can't really complain too much about this. It can change whether or not it's my style, but if I can't program better, I don't feel like I can properly complain. We'll just take a look here at Mercury. I like it. Lots and lots of craters. Sounds pretty accurate to me. So one of the things I was realizing is that we can go in right here. Nope. Hit a different button last time, apparently. Okay, I like how you can see the habitable zones. Asteroid belt and... Non-habitable... Habitable... Wow, I cannot talk tonight. Area cannot live. <laughs> and apparently just black nothingness, which is the rest of the planets. So, oh. Why did I press last time then? Okay. Well, how about we go ahead and reset this? Oh yeah, it was this button. So, there are also different things that you can look at. I played around with a couple of these just to see how they worked. And let's try out this one. I have not actually looked at this one. I guess this is just being a probe. In front of Saturn? Yes! Yes, 10 points. So, that's kind of cool. I like how you can see all these different things. Go in here. I played around with this one just to see what happened. Thrust! We need more power! Anyways, it's kind of fun to be able to shoot around the moon and not have to worry about oh dear <laughs> not have to worry about how much of a terrible pilot I am for example um, which apparently is actually still a huge issue oh oops ah. Ah. to space and we want orbit so we're gonna not just go straight up Also, I like how there's a planet Gaia apparently in the distance. Like I don't I don't know what that's supposed to be. 
It looks cool. I like it. Let's let's go there. Changing direction. <laughs> He's fighting me, Captain. ETA six months. Four days. Thirty-two hours and twenty-seven minutes. Yes, 32 hours is more than a day. I'm aware of that, thank you very much. Oh, so we were on that. And now we're gonna fly past the moon orbiting it and head to what I'm calling Gaia, cause it's just green. It's green everything, which also has a moon. There's another weird planet over there too, that's so cool. I love just seeing these and what they can create in here. I like your star, your, uh, star there. Oh, we're gonna make it to Gaia. Can we land? And if I cut thrusters, we're still flying. Okay, good. We're gonna do, like, the least fuel-efficient maneuver we can. Scott Manley would be very discouraged to see that this is what he's taught me in Kerbal Space Program. Oh, and we need to go down. I like it's struggling to turn more than one direction at once. Other way. Yes. Like, what I mean is I can't hit the left arrow and the down arrow at the same time. It seems I have to hit them one at a time. I don't think I'm properly in orbit, so I don't think I can really do KSP style orbital insertion. By KSP style, I mean actually fairly realistic. Like, of course not perfectly realistic. I do seem to be actually in a kind of orbit. And then because we have all the fuel in the Gaia. Oh, oh, come on. We're gonna miss it. <laughs> There's a whole planet here and we're gonna miss it. Full burn. I don't think it's gonna let me land. Yep, it, it's leaving me behind. Wait, come back. No. No, 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 no. Also, I like how that lake is moving and expanding and shrinking at the same time. Okay, we're just gonna ram it. Eh. Uh. Ooh. Okay, well, we've landed. We'll just change our orbit real quick. Anyways, let's try a different one. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna try the space shuttle. And I'm guessing it's gonna work on very much the same principle. Old spacebar, yep. And we'll start rolling. And wow, we get to space fast. Good thing space is only like 10 feet away. And I better not stand up. Can we detach our boosters? <sighs> we are go for more altitude. Although I'm not... Is it... I think it's still called... Oh, <gasps> they detach automatically! So cool. Okay. And now we're just going to cruise out into the solar system. Let's go to Mars. That's... What the space shuttle was designed to do, right? Not really. Not even slightly. There is some sort of orbital mechanics in here, but I am no rocket scientist, so I'm having a tough time figuring these out. I think I can turn on orbital lines. Bye, space shuttle. Nope, that didn't do it. Whoa. Okay, anyways, let's try it on another one. Alright. Ooh. It's all pink.
pumpkin swirly. And slow it down. Speed. Speed it up. Okay, that that's enough of that. Stop. Thank you. I appreciate your contribution. Earth with rain. That looks like. Give it a look real quick too. No? Oh. Earth plus. Oh. Well it reloaded. Okay. Oh! You can terraform Earth. So it had actually crashed, but it reloaded without me doing anything. So, we bring up the temperature. <gasps> Way. And we add more green stuff. And some clouds. And some people. Lot all the people. All at once. I don't see what change this is making. Oh, it makes the change on the night side. What if we add... Oh, okay, so it does take into account water when it's adding people. Yes. It's completely stuffed to the brink. And then let's just put them down like one tiny island somewhere. Okay, a few tiny islands. That works for me. Cool. Oh, generate is a button. I didn't realize that for some reason. I assume that was just some sort of logo, I guess. Cool, so it's not exactly Earth. But I'm okay with it. Let's decrease the vegetation. If we bring this up to max, it doesn't overflow. And there's still less green air. Oh, because it has to do with temperature. That makes so much sense. So if we freeze it over, we can add all the green we want and nothing happens. And if we warm it up, it's just going to be a desert. But I can still have water. So here we have like Mars. And... Right, turn down the temperature. And now we have Earth with people. Okay. And anything else cool I want to look at? Gravitational... Oh, nope, nope. Okay. The accretion disk around a black hole? Or is it for other things too? Because this doesn't look like a black hole to me. And maybe it's just my lack of space knowledge. Like, I try to study a lot of this. But I'm not very good at it. I feel like it's kind of shrinking too. But that's probably just my eyes playing a trick on myself. Sped it up. Nope. Okay. And what else? Mm. We'll do this one. And this is a dark star. Dark stars are stars, but they don't give off light. If I, or they give off minimal light, at least. So, yep. Anyways, so that's... Uh, wow. Planetarium 2. It's over on Steam. It's interesting. I'm not honestly sure how much game I would say this has, but it's kind of fun to look around and play with things like... Go here. Just drop in a black hole on top of the dark star. That was really smart of me. And then drop a soccer ball next to it. What would happen? Clearly there are things happening. Oh, I dropped it right next to it apparently. They do collide. I swear I played with that earlier and they didn't ever actually collide. And maybe I just was really, really bad at aiming. And we blew up Earth. I think that's the appropriate way to end the video. Anyways, I'm Antalus. I will catch you later.